So let's look at some examples of using integration by parts. I'm going to start off with x squared log x. So we need to pick a u and a dv by dx. And in order to do that, we're going to look at the late rule. So if there are logarithms, then that is my u. And in this case, there are. So log x must be u. And the dv by dx is x squared. So I need a du by dx and a v. So log x differentiates to 1 over x. And x squared integrates to 1 third x cubed. And so the integral is equal to u times v. So u times v, so 1 third x cubed log x take away the integral of v du by dx. So 1 third x squared times 1 over x is x squared. Or x cubed times 1 over x, sorry, x squared. And so now, that's 1 third x cubed log x. Integrate that is 1 ninth x cubed plus a constant c. And that is the answer to the problem. Okay? So that's the first one. So let's look at the second one, x sine x dx. So using late, there are no logarithms, but there is some algebra. So x must be u, and so du by dx is 1. dv by dx then must be sine x. Integrate that becomes minus cos x. So the integral is u times v, so x times minus cos x. Take away the integral of v du by dx, so minus cos x dx. Now I've got a minus there and a minus there, so that can become a plus. So we have minus x cos x, and cos x integrates to sine, so this is plus sine x plus c. Okay? And that's number two. So finally, let's look at number three. Number three, x times 2x plus 1 to the power of 5. Now here, we don't have any logarithms, but we've actually got two sets of algebra here. So which one should we pick to be u? Well, in essence, you want u to be the one that is easily differentiable, the one that differentiates very nicely and easily and quickly. And that's the x. So if u is equal to x, and dv by dx is 2x plus 1 to the 5, then x differentiates to 1. Then we've got to integrate 2x plus 1 to the 5. So we've got to use some reverse chain rule on it. So add 1 to the power gets me to 6. 6, 2 times 2 is 12. So I'd have 1, 12. 2x plus 1 to the 6. Okay, so that's using reverse chain rule. So, we would have, for the integral, u times v, so x times 1 twelfth, so 1 twelfth x, 2x plus 1 to the power of 6, take away the integral of 1 twelfth, 2x plus 1 to the 6, so that's v times du by dx, dx, so, I'm going to pull the 1 12th outside of the integral sign. Okay. And we're going to reverse chain rule this again. So add 1 to the power, we get 7. 7 times the 2 is 14, so we're going to have 1 over 14, 2x plus 1 to the power of 7 plus that constant c. So we've got 1 over 12x, 2x plus 1 to the power of 6. I've got minus 1 12 times uh, 1 14th. So 12 times 14. So minus 1 over 168. Uh, 2x plus 1 
to the power of 7 plus your constant c. Okay? And that is the integral of the original problem.